Hi folks, I went back down to the secret river again today. I had a look at that spot where I were before. It was quite a strange day. <laughs> I did find some gold in the end and gems, which was rather surprising. No natural forming gems here, apart from the garnets, which I did find one quite nice one. Uh, I'd like to mention a guy called Bio Billy. He's got a channel. I'll put a link in the description below. And uh, he explains, well, he's digging why he's digging. I try and do that in these videos and uh, I try not to keep him too long. This one is a little bit longer. I could always take the fast forwarded work stuff out and uh, you know shorten them down like that but would you like to just see me going like that? But what I'll do is uh, I'll get on with it. First I'll mention that is uh, a gold pan, a miniature one. I'm thinking about that for belt buckle for 300 subscribers. Something like that cast and then with some gold in it in some uh, epoxy but anyway I'll get on with it nice to be nice all right guys I've come back down here I've got a theory <laughs> and we'll see if it pans out but I'll show you what I'm set what I mean now uh, obviously I will get in a lot of um, leaves and stuff leaf matter in that and we're up and down wood and that's where I started picking gold up and I thought about it. Now we're concentrating from that corner. But I'm looking up here. Come walk with me. I will show you. <sighs> My thought is now. See how that comes round that bend there. It comes round here pretty fast. And I'm wondering. I picked it up in the middle. The gold. Which was. Like I said, pretty good. I'm thinking it's not depositing there, right in that edge, it's depositing more over to that side. So I'm going to concentrate on that side. And I might just take a couple of pans out of this area here, just to see if it's sort of coming this way. In fact, that's what I'll do first. I'll have a pan or two out of that, just to uh, have a look. Because if it is on this, because I did do some testing there. And that would be where you'd think, or where I would have thought. Would you live and learn, maybe? Let's see how it pans out. So, one, two, I think there's three. A really, really tiny one. So, there. Uh, <laughs> theory confirmed, I think. I'm going to run a couple more pans. Do a minute. I'll do one here, I'll take another one from there deeper, but again that's really silty, but as I say, I'm guessing that's coming because it comes around a steep corner there, and I thought it might have blasted it back across there, but obviously it is, but it could be hitting this, running down this side first, which then would probably mean the gold where I'm digging down there is going to be further to the right. I'll just run a couple of pans and see what we get now. Second pan, it came a little bit more that way. And they're not big pans I'm running, there's another speck there, so I'm pretty sure about that. I'm just going to have a look at this here, and then I'm going to go and dig back in that hole. I'm going to dig that another time. It's like bedrock, but that could be alright if it is in theory coming that way. All that material's very gathered there, and all this material's gathered here. And like I said, where you'd normally think it should be is over there. There's nothing catching in that. I've checked up here before. You can see it. Well, I don't know if you can see it. I'll just stand up here. It sort of comes down a really steep curve. Probably better from that direction. It comes down there. It's hitting that. And then travelling back down that way. In, that's my theory. I'm getting gold on that side. Where I thought it might have been here. And I have tested the side before on this side and didn't find. I don't remember finding a speck, but again, it was just quick test pans. I'll have a dig there and clean that out. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. I clean that out, pumped it, didn't find a speck. I just took one pan out of that area there. Got one tiny speck. It's tiny. Let's spot it. So, 
I'm just looking at this again. That bank's really wet. So maybe when it comes around, water runs across that bank. I'm not going to mess about here. I was going to fill a couple of buckets and just go and run them. But I could spend a day here anyway. It's like riffle after riffle. Now, all right, you're saying maybe you're mad. I've already started down there. And my theory is that the gold's further on that side. Might as well go and take that. Sluice is set up. I'm not far from home. That's my excuse. And this can always be done another day. So, first two buckets. There is gold in the map, not a lot. You can see that. Because it's like the I'm assuming that's the edge of the drop that I'm thinking is there and I think I'm just about on the bottom so I'm going to clean that and see what that brings and work a little bit more this way I'll show you the map it's not spectacular but it's 300% better than the last two, two than the first two buckets last week As I can see three tiny little specks one up there, there's one up there, and there's another one there, I know what I can see. A bit like I said, 300% better than the first two buckets last week, in fact it's 300% better than the first six buckets last week, so I'll carry on, yeah I hate that, zoom in and zoom out, there's that drop, hopefully something else is in there. Like I said, that's interesting up there as well. I'll have to actually locate which where the line is. Six buckets in. I have bottomed out there. And that drop just curls round here like that. Um, not a lot in that. There's uh, very little in fact. A little bit more than the first two. <laughs> Nothing to write home about. Micro fine st stuff. Maybe eight pieces. So <laughs> I'm going to try something else. Daft as it sounds, I'm gonna test here. Couldn't be any gold there. As I said, I did dig up there. I could carry on digging here. Oop, put that back. I'm gonna fell over there. I'm gonna try here. There should be no gold there, but I'm gonna try it. If it's not there, <laughs> it could be there. I did do alright there. Not fantastic, but I could carry on digging that. And what I think I might do is just run a few random buckets and see if the out shows up. I'll run a bucket from there. I know there's not a lot in there, so if anything shows up, I'll see it. And again, that's just really sandy underneath. It's not, well, there's gravel in it, but it's not gravel gravel, if you know what I mean. Bigger lumps and sand. And I'm not finding... You know, if it's there, you'd expect to find one or two nicer pieces just choking that without pumping bottom, you know. So, we will see. I'm not just running across there as well. I went that way last time, couldn't find anything, but if it was running more that way, I'll do a bucket out of there. So guys, I've been testing pan for pan. I took a couple of pans out of there. <laughs> Although I found most of the gold there and that way. I did find two tiny specks, but I took well three pans, two tiny specks. And I've just been working along here and found something rather interesting. There were a lot of steel in there. Well not a lot of steel, but I'm picking steel up where the steel is, the gold is in general. But I think it's an amethyst. Now obviously there's no natural formed amethyst here and it's been cut. I found one piece of gold and that's the gold and that's the, the stone. It 
treasure. I'll, uh, I'll keep that, but I'm going to do another pan. I might even do some buckets out of there just for fun now. I mean, I could go up there. I could go up there, but carrying buckets down this waterfall is painting off. So I can't bother. I know there's gold up there. I might do another couple of test pans up there just to see if it's worth coming up there next time. And uh, if not, I'll be camped to another part of the river next time I come. There's not a great deal up that way. I have done, as I said, some testing up there. Most of the gold I've found has been the other side of that. But I'm going to do another pan out of there. Hopefully I'll find rest of the jewellery that comes with that. <laughs> Amethyst or whatever it is. So I'm about on plan Z now, I think. <laughs> I, I just run two buckets from there, from where I found that uh, precious stone. Um, I'm going to run a couple more from here. See what I can pick up, if nothing, then that's how it is. And the other theory now with this, <laughs> lots of theories. When we're getting really high water, that's really wet there, it's actually trickling up the top of that. So I'm wondering if it is dropping there, or if it's not dropping, this is sort of flooding and it's not really concentrating. I say, I might, yeah, uh, mm. I'll go and do a bucket, a bucket from up there, but I'll run this, I know there was some concentration on here, I did get some gold out of this, weren't a huge amount, but I am here, I don't really want to be carrying buckets down waterfall, I just can't be bothered with that. Right then, like Plan Z, <laughs> as I said, um, start digging here again. Uh, I'm not quite sure how far I went up. I think it would about to that rock there. That one. So I can clear that area because my sluice is here. I just had to sort of divert my tailings because I don't want to be running the tailings again, do I? But there is a little bit more gold in the map from the two buckets I've just run. So. So, I'll do a few more from there, I'm going to stay for another hour. Well, put another uh, you know, four after the original two out of that all uh, through it. I'll clean it out, see what we've got. I've had enough now. The river gods are playing again. There's a bit of gold in it, and I think... Not fantastic but it's better than I did last week and they were last last six buckets really that I've done that so if I do come next week I'll carry on with that but what I'll do is I'll block that up and move my sluice over there so I'm sluicing that way and uh, then I can sort of follow that line but it didn't produce there you know what I mean strange because I assumed assumption I thought it'd be all right there because it was okay there. That's okay. I'm hoping. I thought I saw like a two millimeter or a three millimeter go through box. So I'm hoping that's in there. And the precious stones always a bonus in it. <laughs> See what we've got. I gotta say, darn sight better than I thought. Them two are not bad pieces. So, the river gods are sometimes fickle. I thought I could hear them laughing at me before. I'll have a look what's uh, gone into the carpet. A complete wash out, and them bigger bits all came out of them, out of there. So, I will come back next week here, probably. So guys, what a strange day. <laughs> That's the biggest garnet I've found so far, and it's, it's, it's not absolutely crystal clear, but it is quite clear. <laughs> can't, can't believe I found that. I'm assuming it's uh, uh, amethyst colour. 
might know better, but it is a precious stone as it was heavy, it came out in pan. So, and that's the gold. When I cleaned the uh, copy out, there were three tiny little specks like them there. And three there. I don't know that it were them. <laughs> I don't recognise every piece. But it's better than last week, and they cut, and like most, well, I would say 90% of that gold come out of that last bucket. Uh, them, them last six buckets, so. But the river gods are fickle. But I'm, I'm pleased about that. I'd have liked to have got two, I could have made a pair of earrings. Unless my wife wants to have something else pierced.